You know, the person that recruited me into this business 30 some years ago, she asked me six times. Six times. And every time it was no, not now. I didn't say no, not now. What she said to me was, would you be open to having me give me a call and see three to six months and see how things are going? I said, sure, give me a call. The sixth time I was going to have a baby, and the answer was yes. We get hung up on the no, we just die, and we never ask again. You don't know what's on the other end of that no. No, not now, it's the second no. The third no is, I know KNOW someone who might be interested. So it's a referral. So three kinds of no's. So the people that have that fear of the no, thinking that it is, no, it's me, no, you hate me, there isn't a fourth no. So if you share that with that person that is having this challenge, you think that might help them to realize that. And it's not even by just telling them, it's asking the question. So if you were in a store and you were looking and you didn't like something and somebody came to wait on you, what might you say to that person? Go ahead, be here. Yeah, say that again. Okay, this is how you can coach somebody through this process because I, I have trained there. I'm going to show you the coaching process. So if you went into a store, or if I went into a store and you were the sales clerk and I said to you, you know, no, I think you're just looking. How would you feel about that? I would feel okay. Okay, okay. And if you said, no, I'm not buying today. No, I'm not buying anything. You know, I'm not interested. How do you feel about that? I feel okay. Mm -hmm. If I said, you know, yeah, I really don't want anything right now, but I'm looking for my daughter. So I know someone that could use that. How would you feel about that? Even better. Okay. So on any of those, you didn't die and say, oh, man, she hates me, did you? Right. Okay. So same thing with candles. Let's say I'm at a party, and I'm looking at the candles, and when you ask me if I want to hold a party, and I say, you know, no, no, thank you. Does that mean I hit you? No. If I say, no, I really just don't have the money today to buy anything, does that mean I hate you? No. I don't like you. If I say, you know, I know someone that just loves cancer, they're probably really good at this, how do you feel about that? That's good. Mm -hmm. So all those things, are, do you see how it transferred from one to the other? you got to get them to see it themselves, to feel what that feels like, to let go of the fact that, no, they hate me, is what's right. up in the front. I feel like you have a sense that that maybe you can go back to that person right. and help them. And, and, yeah. and even if larger than that, we're talking about the fear, not, and not just, that might be like one specific uh -huh. instance where somebody yes. says no, but like even other things that come up in their life that they feel defeated every day, where like that... Lofty goal of success is, is really too, too far. Un, yeah, unattainable. So too far out there. Like let's how take a step. Bridge, yeah, between one now mini and step at a Ooh, time. Not mini step, step, mini step. There's a baby step that they can take. It will get bigger. The steps will get bigger. So in, when they call you up on the phone and they say, well, Nikki, you know, I didn't do very well this week. I don't really love week. Nothing good was happening. That's why you don't ask those people, how was your week? Or how are you doing? What do they do? They tell you that, oh man, life pits, I have hemorrhoids, I mean, they go on and on and on. So what we want to do is make sure that we give them an opportunity to speak to something positive. So what we say is, so Sally, what was the best thing that happened in your business this week? So we start with good news. Uh, we were talking, Deb and I, about conference calls, and she was in on one this last week, and it was just like boring, you know, nothing happening. Start your conference calls off with, Good news! What's the best thing that happened in your business system? Everybody else is hearing good news. To that, ask what's working well. And when they complain, and they, you know, give them a little space to talk and then say, so if there was one thing that you could pick out of that party that was good, what would it be? And they'll say, well, there was only one lady that showed up. And you know what? She loved the product, and she's going to host a party. Wonderful. So what we have here is you have a new party scheduled. So because you went and you played presentation with that one person, now you have a new party schedule. Boy, are you making progress on that deal. you got to look for the little wins, guys. People think it's the magic thing with the giant win. It's little baby wins. And we got to look for those for people. And that goes back to the acknowledgement of others. What we most of the time is what we do is we focus on what's not working.